about the mirrors, no mirrors. I don't want none of that bullshit. It's got to be that power. We like that power, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, I know a lot of the states been getting uh been getting new strains in this year. You guys seen any new strains pop up out there? Oh, uh, man, I actually was just asked about, it's not even out here. I hear it's out there. It's called Black Kush, I think. Black, Black something. I was being asked about it in Cali, what you know about that? Out here, we got different strains all the time, man. So, I mean, the strains out here, everybody got a name for something. <laughs> I had some of that, uh, some of that black kush the other day, actually. That shit's actually pretty good. The whole bud is so purple, it's almost black. Oh, that's what I was hearing, man. Yeah, I just heard about that. Actually, today, my boy hit me up talking about some shit out in Cali. I need to try some of that. Well, yeah, hell yeah, man. Now, uh, I see you've been, uh, you still doing the cartridges out there, or? Yeah, y'all yeah, know I'm trying to get my hands in a little bit of everything. Definitely, man, definitely. So, uh, how's the, uh, the EP coming? Uh, it's coming along smooth, man. I'm just about to drop a few more tracks, and then it should be all finished. Tomorrow, um, to, uh, I'm going to be shooting a video with Trick Trick and Good Money, it's a video for Good Money's album called Snituation. The song is called Snituation featuring Trick Trick. So tomorrow they shooting a video. I got a little cameo and be playing in that. So, you know, I'm working, man. I'm still working. Yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing that track to the Snituation, man. Sounds like yeah, it's out. people need to hear. Yeah, it's out. Actually, uh, they've been playing it on Shade 4-5 uh, Thursday night, 7 o'clock. West Coast, 10 p.m. East Coast. Trick Trick has a show called The Fly Zone Radio that premieres on Shade 4 5. So if you check it out, they have been playing that song on. They actually premiered it last week or the week before, I think. Okay, okay, and they got go. a good buzz, and they jumped right on the video. <laughs> I, think they, I think they dropped it like last week or something or the week before, and then Shay, the people on Shay Four Five, or you know, they was sending reviews and back to Shay Four Five asking about the song. And you know, they said it's time to get on the video, so the video will be getting shot tomorrow, and you know, it'll be out soon. So be on the lookout for that. Good money featuring Trick Trick situation. Hell yeah, hell yeah! Shout out to uh, OG Trick Trick, everyone at Shay Four Five. Yes, sir. Yeah, you the flies on uh, radio. So make sure y'all tune in on Thursday night, seven p.m. on the West Coast. Hell yeah! Now, uh, you guys got any uh, events coming up out there in Detroit? Actually, Trick has an anti-bullying event. He will be doing. It's a free event. So if you're in the Detroit area, just go to Eventbrite dot com and look up the event. He's giving away free tickets to the event for general admission and it's seventy five dollars for the meet and greet. So that's the next event coming up. It's three thirteen day. That's Detroit Day if y'all know that. That's three one three day. Trick will be doing a free concert at L Detroit. And if you want a meet and greet it's seventy five dollars. For sure, yeah, definitely sounds like some people want to get out to. That's worth that thirty five dollars right there for a meet and greet. Oh uh, yeah, you got uh, some opening acts like Greg Jocelyn from Christmas Cushions, my cologne, Bianca Bad. You got some uh, good acts out of Detroit too that'll be opening up for him. So make sure y'all come out if y'all in the area. Well, hell yeah, hell yeah. You gonna be out there as well? No, I'm not performing, but I will be in the building. I'm just kind of chilling right now, trying to get myself back in perspective. You know what I'm saying? Feel that? Feel that? Man, so uh, I've been seeing all this Jesse Smollett in the news shit, man. What you think about all that shit going on? Hey, man, it is what it is. I guess he was trying to make figure out another scene for uh, Empire, the way I called it. I don't know. Or he was trying to get some justice for the gay rights, you know? to do something like that and then go call yourself the gay Tupac, it don't make no sense to me. Tupac ain't get himself beat up. For real, though. For real, like that. Yeah, that's crazy. You know, and I think if you're going to support whatever movement you're supporting, that's one thing, but don't do some shady shit to make it 
to make it pop more because I just looked bad on the whole movement when you get cut. Yeah, and you got yourself kicked off the show anyway. So, I mean, and you were facing jail time. So, I don't know. People reaching for publicity nowadays. I thought he was pretty famous. So, I'm not understanding why he did it in the first place. Yeah, yeah, I don't understand none of that shit. I'm hearing, uh, I heard 6 9 about to get witness protection, too. That's some crazy yeah, shit going on. That's another thing. All these, he was screaming, gang, 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 gang. Now you should be screaming snitch, snitch. You know what I'm saying? Because now you're in there singing like a blue jailbird and about to get your time and all that reduced for snitching on people. Man, that ain't the code we live by if you're screaming gang, gang. You know what I'm saying? But that's what it, he had all these followers and they came, they talking about he wasn't trolling. What do you call it then? Because when he went in front of court, he was talking to the judge, talking about I ain't no gangster. But on all your records, you're screaming gang, gang, Treyway, this and that and the other. Man, that's when that thug life caught up to him, though, trying to trying to perpetrate until he got in the courtroom. That's the problem with the uh, industry, too, nowadays, man. It's watered down. Oh, for real, because, you know, back in the day, you wouldn't see you wouldn't see an Easy e on the stand or a motherfucking, you know, shit, even, even Snoop on the stand like that. Like, No, none of them. That's not the code that they was came up by, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, like that's that's some different shit, man. He come out. I heard he about to get witness protection. I'm wondering if he gonna come out under a whole new identity and try to rap again, though. No, he his as far as rap career, his rap career is done. Anybody, you thought Rick Ross was bad, and Rick Ross was just a CEO. This guy is an actual snitch, and they actually talking about him getting out on for cooperating with the. Authority. That ain't what you do if you a gangster. That ain't what authorities. That no. That ain't what you do to put other people in jail. But that's not gangster to me. If he mm-hmm. was gangster, he would sit his ass down and do them forty seven years he was facing. Because if you do the crime, that means you got to do the time. Exactly. Take your own time and shit, man. Because shit, like you could, he could have still released albums for prison and shit. It's like the big homie X rated. I mean, yeah, but who gonna mess with him after all this stuff coming out, man? I mean, if you mess with a snitch, what that mean? I mean, you a snitch, right? If you riding right. around with a known snitch, that mean you a snitch. That mean you something ain't right. Mm, you a snitch of the police? That's right. Well, my word, in our day, snitches get stitches and they end up in the ditches. You know what I'm saying? That's real, man. That's real. You know it's. It's fucked up because I'm watching all these people support all this different type of shit like that. And I'm like, remember back when being real was like, that was what was cool, being a real motherfucker and not telling on people and like just being solid. When the fuck is that going to be cool again? I don't think we're going to get there again. It's a cold, man. It's called street cold. These people don't get it. Like, I've been to jail before. I ain't snitched to get my time reduced. You know what I'm saying? That don't make you look good when you get out. How that make you, people ain't going to mess with you if they know you a snitch. If you go and uh, cooperate with the authorities, that means you don't have a backbone. That means if you get caught doing something, that means you can't go sit your ass down and do the time. That's the way I looked at it when I got caught. I was snitched on. That's why I don't even fuck with snitches like that. I was doing my thing, met the wrong motherfucker. He turned me on to the police. So that basically was the snitch, and then I got myself in trouble. So when I got myself in trouble, I looked at it like, shit, who the, why the fuck I'm a snitch on somebody else? When I get out of jail, what's that going to make me look like? And they even asked me, to, do you want to, they will reduce some time off your sentence if you cooperate with the police. I was like, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? This was my first offense anyway. I ain't going to do that much time. Shit, I'd rather have my name being solid in the streets than if a nigga go to jail and you get out, motherfuckers don't know if you in there telling on them or not. That ain't the way I want to be looked at. And I don't think nobody want to be looked at that way if you live in the neighborhood to where you could walk down the street and the motherfucker look at you and come blow your head off because you done went and told on somebody. That ain't that ain't cold. That's what I'm saying. That ain't that ain't the rules. There's rules to this shit. Street life ain't motherfuckers. It ain't what you see on TV. There's other shit to this. It ain't 
oh, yeah, I'm going to slang all these bags of rocks or cocaine or heroin or motherfucking meth, whatever your drug of choice is, pills, opi- opioids. But when you get caught for doing that, now you telling on this man or that man because you ain't got the backbone to go sit in jail. That's not that's not street. That's not gangster. That's not you a little bitch. You a coward. You know what I'm saying? Because while you out on in the streets, you screaming, gang, gang. But now you, oh, I'm, he did this. Now you went on the stands pointing fingers at this motherfucker. That's why if you ever do dirt, you should do it on by your lonely. That's the way I was taught, because you ain't got to worry about having a co-defendant or a motherfucker that might not have a backbone like you to take that, you know, take that bid and go sit in jail for a couple months or a couple years, because jail not meant for everybody. You don't understand what I'm saying? So if they get caught doing dirt, they ready to tell. Look at 6 9 He ain't even been in jail that long. He already talking. Because jail ain't for everybody. That'll go to show you right there. He's still a kid. Motherfucker, there's grown-ass men in jail, grown-ass killers. These motherfuckers really did some shit. You in jail for some racketeering bullshit. These it's killers and motherfucking real gangsters in prisons and shit like that. He understand what he up against. It's not meant for everybody. <laughs> oh, no, you can't walk into the jail with that rainbow along here like that either, man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You are already a target. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Cause and then you've been honestly, screaming, gang, gang, the whole time you've been making music. Just because them motherfuckers in prison don't mean they don't know that you're making music. You still, They still got TVs and radios in prison. <laughs> oh, yeah, they got tablets now. See, That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. On don't eat on motherfucking, they get on Facebook and shit just like anybody else. They could get on the Internet just like anybody else nowadays. So while you in there screaming gang, gang, and shit like that, the motherfucker is going to be like, okay, show me something. That's why he in there telling. That shit ain't all glam and glitz, motherfucker. Going to jail ain't cool. I tell you, motherfuckers, any motherfucker listening to this show right now, going to jail ain't cool. Getting shot ain't cool. None of that shit is cool, man. Making money is cool. Doing what you love is cool. We only live once in this motherfucker. It ain't no second chances, at least not as what the fuck they calling you right now. Once I die, it's going to be over with. Once Jeremy CEO die, it's over with. It ain't going to be another him. Yeah, we they say we get reincarnated, but it's never going to be another E-Rock or it's never going to be another Jeremy CEO. Like, there's never going to be another Tupac. There's never going to be another Elvis Presley. There's never going to be another Red Fox. There's never going to be another this person. You know what I'm saying? We are all original. That's what separates us from everybody else. You are you. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you are you. That's your power. That's our superpower. Exactly, man. And, like, everyone out there that's listening that's behind the walls right now, Hey, when y'all get out, man, just do it right this time around. You're getting a second chance. Shout out to everyone behind the wall right now. Oh, yeah. Shout out to everybody behind them bars, man. I know how it is, man. You got to wake up at a certain time, eat when they tell you to eat. Fuck that, man. That's why I say that place ain't no, that ain't a place for nobody. You know what I'm saying? Why are these motherfuckers wolfing about being gangster, but like I say, they can't do the time. If they get caught doing a crime, so you're not gangster. Use a bitch, use a hoe, use a snitch. That ain't what the streets is about. Exactly. Exactly. It's like that OB Price song, Snitch. I was listening to that shit the other day. Yeah, that's my shit. Yeah, man. What's OB been up to lately? He doing any more music out there? Yeah, dude, from uh, what I know, he's been on the road, man. He's been overseas, him and Swifty from D12. Mac, you know, they've been doing some shit together. So he's yeah, still yeah. out there doing it. He's been overseas in Canada doing his work majority, though. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I've noticed that a lot. Like, a lot more people now are getting their, uh, their fan base overseas, usually more than they are over here now, because overseas, they're still, I mean, hell, some countries, they're still buying physical albums and shit. Yeah, that's what I, yeah, uh, uh, that's the thing about, really about Detroit artists, period. I don't know how it is for Cali artists, but there's a lot of Detroit artists that actually get mad love in the UK and shit like that. And they not even really mainstream artists, but they get the love over there. You know what I'm saying? Because I got some artists as far as like, 
um, Super MC from Detroit. He just was overseas, you know, performing, and he's an artist from Detroit that's...